and welcome back to The Credit Authority. I'm your host, Rhonda Kulch, and again, today's episode all about investment and investment strategies for 2022. Trying to be a little out of the box here, so I actually invited a friend of mine, Steve Calipai. He is the owner of Park South Galleries. He is an internationally recognized published artist with Modern Luxury Magazine, and he has decided to come to the studio today and help me to understand a little bit about the NFT market. Right. Crazy market, but a good one. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Oh, I know my you, you know, I'm busy, you're busy, but this is important because I think when people think about investments and where to put their dollars, everything's so traditional. CDs, banking, money markets, right. mm -hmm. maybe I'll put something in the stock market. So today I've been trying to speak to people that have something a little out of the box so that we have a little more variety for 2022. Right, the blockchain market and NFTs, which is a non-fungible token, it's a great avenue for people to make additional income and it's the wave of the future. It's up and coming and it's something that not a lot of people are getting into right away, but they're starting. So to invest in that market now is huge. So is NFT is something that specifically surrounds the marketplace for artists like yourself? Um, yes, yes, there are a lot of artists getting into it. Again, it's an additional avenue to sell your work because it's difficult for a lot of artists to sell their work. It's very competitive and there's Etsy, Paragold online. It's extremely difficult. With the NFT market, they either do a little money or they do a lot of money. And what I mean by a lot of money is millions, three, four, five, six million a piece, each one. So is it that your artwork is being displayed through, yeah, you know, through this, the, I, I don't know what you'd call it, through this vertical, the blockchain, no. the vertical, I don't know the right word. On. <laughs> yeah, it's called the blockchain. Um, what's good about the blockchain is you could be on uh, all different sites and it's all covered under the blockchain. So it's not like you go on eBay, you're only on eBay. If you're on the blockchain, you're on every one of them. So your stuff gets seen everywhere, which is great. How does somebody know to go there? Like what directs the traffic to the blockchain? Okay, directing the traffic. First of all, to get into it, a simple Google search. Google blockchain, Google crypto, Google NFTs. See, NFTs are, could be anything. It could be videos, it could be artwork. But what's interesting about the NFT is I could put a piece of art on there that I painted and they don't buy the art. They get the digital download. And I still own the art. So it's, or, an ima it's like having an image. Right. Okay. So you're buying the image. now. What's good about it is you have ESPN is doing it now, Major League Baseball, they're selling video clips. And they're big money. It's 100,000, 200,000, a million. It's great, great avenue to get into. Really good. How does somebody like yourself, you put your artwork out on the blockchain. Yep. And you have, so are you getting compensated every time somebody downloads your image? Yeah, absolutely. What happens is they'll, they'll buy the image for X amount of dollars. You have to buy it through Ethereum which is a cryptocurrency. We just had which a specialist just, yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, he's great. We had a great conversation about it. And I think he's going to buy some of mine. So that's kind of cool. Even better. Yeah. You know, so you have to guess buy. Guests supporting guests. Right, which is great. Um, you buy through um, Ethereum. And uh, what's good about that is the price of Ethereum can go up, way up. So if my art was saved $10, but the Ethereum is 15 you're getting paid extra money. Okay. Because you're not buying it in dollars. You're buying it in Ethereum. Mm-hmm. But it can go down also, but... Now that I'm learning about this alternative market, mm -hmm. um, I'm understanding it a little bit more, right. um, and I'm not as skeptical. Mm -hmm. So somebody who's from the, the Bitcoin cryptocurrency market yeah. would understand what a blockchain and an NFT yeah. is. Mm -hmm. and, so, and somebody like yourself, who's an artist that has amazing artwork, and you, you paint in... Right multiple, I use the word vertical, you paint in multiple verticals, right? I own Absolutely. some of your artwork. So yeah. you have, you know, all different types yeah. of artwork that you have. Right, so, I paint in 3D is what I do. Okay, yeah. if that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but you're right too. A lot of the stuff that you have is, yeah, it's vertical based, which is really cool. So by putting this out on the NFT market mm -hmm. with the blockchain, it allows artists like yourself to really highlight and I'm guessing bring your artwork to a larger audience base. Absolutely, yeah. Like a lot of my artwork will sell for, for good money. I mean, I could sell a piece for twenty or $30,000 because I'm selling it with the NFT rights, 
Meaning, not only do they own the painting, but now they own the digital download. And that's in perpetuity, which means I'll get, see this is what's good about it. I'll get a percentage <laughs> forever. So every time it's sold, the digital download was sold on the blockchain, I get 10%. So it's forever. residual income. Absolutely. Now I might not own the piece anymore, but you're still getting paid forever, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Like a lot of artists, where they're failing is they're not giving their painting with the actual NFT. I don't think that's fair. Okay. To me, if I'm getting twenty or thirty thousand dollars a painting, they're going to get the NFT rights. That's one of the reasons why I do well, is because they're getting that as well. So they're getting my current, but they're also getting the future, which means the more popular I get, the more that NFT goes up. Not just the painting, but the NFT. So now they have two avenues on their investment where they're making money. How does an artist like yourself get their artwork into the blockchain? Okay, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of getting very, very high quality digital prints from an incredible photographer. Ma make sure the, um, the pixels are great. It's got to look perfect. It's really that simple. You sign up for, there's different companies. There's OpenSea, there's so many of them. Okay. And again, information so free, subscribe. which you know. Sure, so you subscribe Google. to yep. a, a platform and then you Absolutely. upload to that platform. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you could do it yourself. You don't have to hire someone to do that for you. It's, it's very simple So procedure. how many NFTs, am I saying that correctly, how yeah. many pieces of your artwork are oh, currently boy. NFTs? 91. I have 91 wow. NFTs right now. So if you play your, your cards right, you're, you can retire off of yeah. what you've been able to put <laughs> yeah, out yeah, on your blockchain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm using the, the words no, right. You're right. Absolutely. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. It's like learning a new language. Yep. Right? The more you say the words, the more they feel natural yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about you as an artist. Um, obviously you are based in New York on yep. Long Island where we are. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect from you coming up in 2022. Okay, 2022. Again, expanding in more and more into the NFT market. I'm going to be opening up another gallery in Florida and Boca Raton. So expanding. Now we're expanding. Um, getting more into the marketing end of it because I have so many pieces. I have over 500 pieces. And they're would, selling, but we need to sell more. Would you consider the type of art that you do, you know, investment, or mm -hmm. is it more for personal, you know, personal portfolio? Um, good question. Um, any art collector will buy art for two reasons. One, they love it and it means something to them, but the smartest investors are buying it and holding it for the future. Like something I sell sure. for, if I sold something for four or $5,000, it could be worth 20 grand in five years. What because determines that? Out. So it's based on you and your yeah. performance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So very similar to maybe a musician that starts out early and as they mature into mm -hmm. their career, as they mature, the things that they're doing are worth more. Exactly. So it's along the same lines exactly, with an artist. Yeah, about the same, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your gallery, where people can find you and oh, your artwork. Yeah, parksouthgallery.net. It's at 78 Montauk Highway in Amity Harbor. Great little place. I've lot been there. A lot of fun, yeah, a lot I've of fun and great stuff. I don't only have my own art, I have um, collections. I collect a lot of art and I resell it. I have Peter Max, I have Andy Warhol, I have Chagall. And it's a great experience to come now. Even if people don't come in and buy, it's just great to see things they can't see anywhere else. I love it. Again, we are speaking with Steve Calipai. He is the owner and founder of Park South Gallery. And we are looking at investment opportunities for 2022. So again, thank you so much for being a guest oh, and sharing your experience about the NFT market. Yep. I learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned um, for information about our next show.